Hello, this is Valerian Magatu, and today I am going to do a lecture, one lecture of many, on psychology learning. Let's start with the beginning of behaviorism. The roots, Watson, Skinner, and the similarities and differences between them. What is behavior? Behavior is any action, voluntary or involuntary exhibited by an organism, whether it be eye blinking or walking, this would be fall into the category of behavior. Now the old uh, psychologies were essentially philosophy. This is uh, the study of people's thinking, people's mind, a lot of uh, abstract ideas. So in philosophy, <clears throat> Skinner and Watson both decided that instead of relying on what's in the mind, which is uh, hard to measure, we would rely on natural events uh, or, or brain activity. Uh, much easier to measure, you could use tools and measure sleep patterns and uh, use different scientific tools later on to, uh, to measure what, what activity is going on in the brain. Um, it would also be the rejection of the reason for assumption. It's not as accurate. Uh, instead, in science, we rely on observational data points. So, Watson's behaviorism at first would be called methodological behaviorism. His method would reject introspection, inner thoughts, and instead propose the experimental method, which is still used in science today. Um, the subject matter of science in in the old times would be the consciousness of mind. Consciousness till this day is hard to measure and is not necessarily scientific. Instead using directly and observable measurable behaviors. <clears throat> he also rejects mentalism which is also an old um, an old version of psychology which would adapt into psychology today which is behaviorism which is essentially the beginning of psychology. Instead, he proposes environmental events. This has less, um, less compounds and, and is easier to study. Much more reliable. Why should we reject mentalism? Well, here's why. It is a circular logic. Uh, the logic is kind of a, could, there's room for fallacies. You must provide an explanation that is independent of the behavior in question. Um, uh, according to scientific standards, mentalism standards are not real. Ascribing mental causes obstructs inquiry into the real causes. Now, let's see the differences between Skinner and, and uh, Watson. So, Skinner has modern behavior. It's a little bit more complex. So, like I said before, Watson would be World War I era, and then Skinner would be World War II era, and his psychology is actually used today, and he's still, he's still kind of the basis for a lot of branches of psychology. So, for Skinner, it's much more, there's, there's two aspects to it. There's the private events, which would be hungers, thoughts, sensations, dreams, the natural, physical, and the covert behaviors, which would fall into private events. Mental events would be non-natural, fictional, these are abstract ideas, concepts, and constructs. The differences between Watson and Skinner is Watson believes that all behaviors are reflexive, basically involuntary or unconscious reactions to stimuli. Well, Skinner has two types of behaviors. The reflexive behaviors, uh, which is the mechanistic, kind of the natural nature of biological mechanisms, but also the operant behaviors, which are affected by consequences. Um, operant behavior produces a kind of consequence like dog saliva to the response of uh, meat powder. Now, these two psychologists are very essential for the basis of learning in psychology. Uh, thank you for watching. I will create more videos as I go. Hit subscribe.